Here is what your ECR or Enhanced Classroom Platform looks like. In this example, we are using ACCA Enhanced Classroom, but this would pretty much look the same if you do AAT, FIA or SEMA. You will see that the content has been divided into manageable topics with learning activities in each topic. The introduction has an overview of the subject, with an introduction to the paper and some tips on how to pass and covering the syllabus. And then the content has got, each block has got an assessment in and a practice and apply in the end. The assessment in allows you to answer questions to determine how much of this topic are you already familiar with. If you are already familiar with certain sections, you do not need to study it again. In each of these topics, you will find a recorded lecture and a summary lecture. You will see that these recorded lectures are under each topic. Let's look at what these videos look like. Right, so we're off to go and see a brand new tax now. So we've got capital gains to consider. Now, at the moment, you'll see I haven't quite written up capital gains tax. And the reason for that is both individuals and companies can incur capital gains. And income it's not like you're earning that money every single month. It's a bit of a one-off transaction. So that gives rise to a capital gain. Okay, so that's the one that people expect. The other two um, might be a little bit more surprising. So the revenue will also treat a gift of an asset as being a chargeable disposal as well. Because they'll go, well, if you have a valuable asset, I don't know, something like an antique vase worth £50,000, why would you just give that away to someone? That doesn't seem very sensible. What people might be trying to do is maybe if they're a higher rate taxpayer and their brother was a basic rate taxpayer, they might go, well, I'll just give you this vase, you sell it, and then how about you give me £48,000 back? For the painting, and we'll call that a normal asset. And then one for the house, which is residential property. So keep those columns separate. We'll pop in the gains that we've been given in the question. So 23,000 is the gain on the painting, 55,600 the gain on the house. So those are our chargeable gains. To get to taxable gains, we need to offset the annual exempt amount of £12,000. And remember, we choose to use that in the most beneficial way. So we'll use it against the residential property gains because that will save us 18 or 28% tax rather than the 10 or 20% uh, percent that we'd be paying on the painting. This gives you a good idea of what a recorded lecture looks like. You can see that content is covered and that there are lecture examples which are worked out in the video. Here you can see that there are further question practice with practice solutions. There's online knowledge tests. The online knowledge tests are like course exams or progress tests. And there's a CBE practice area. And in the CBE practice area, you can practice a mock exam under exam conditions. The exam tool looks exactly what you can expect to find in the exam. It is a timed exam. Here you can practice using your scratch pad and the calculator, flag and review. 
So to give you an overview, this is Enhanced Classroom with recorded lectures, a multitude of assessments at different levels and a final mock exam on the exam CBE tool. We hope you enjoy your online lectures and question practice. Remember to study a little bit every day instead of cramming everything in right before the exam. Let us know how it goes.